Okay, so the goal is I want to get from something like this to something more like this, an avocado tree. You can see it's got a uh, lengthy stem going at this point and a few leaves and a well-developed root system in the bottom here. Now, how do you do this? Simply slice your avocado in here. pull your seed and a tip is to when you eat your avocados look for the seeds that already have a split going in them and sometimes they'll even have a like a single root or a root hair coming out the bottom now this one is several weeks old it was cracked a little bit and so I dropped it in water like so and you can see in a few weeks it developed a nice root system going here and a spike the beginning of the tree coming out the top Now you can't leave it like this because it's unstable, but that's a good way to keep it moist and get it started until you can set up the system. And this is the system. As you can see, I have another one going here. A spike at the top. A nice root system in the bottom going there. Look at that. And real simple, how do you get this set up? An empty juice container carton, something like this. And you kind of want to figure like this, that line there, without punching it through your hand. And you can use a cheap knife like this one, or you can use a really nice knife. That's your choice. But uh, another way is to get a pair of shears, and that's probably a safer way to do this. Then you want to do the same with this. Kind of figure out about where you want it. So it doesn't have to be perfect. But uh, here you go. I have this and this. And what this is going to do is going to protect that root system from getting damaged and it's also going to give it a little bit of support so the roots are going to weave down around this little hump in the bottom and this rim here and they're going to help support the tree until you have a chance to plant it and that'll get your little spike grown straight up without the root system wobbling it around and tipping it over and uh, just fill it with water change the water occasionally if it starts to green up, get slimy, whatever. Uh, another tip, keep it in a warm, draft-free place and uh, a little bit of sunshine. A couple hours a day of sunshine in the window is nice. Uh, this one was inside the kitchen which is attached to the lanai. Now it doesn't get a whole lot of sunlight but it gets enough daylight to keep it alive and then after uh, it got about yay high. Then I moved it out into the lanai and it gets a couple hours direct sunlight a day. Now it's ready to plant and I'll show you the root system underneath. It's coming down quite a bit. And uh, yeah, it's springtime here in Florida. It's February. It's already getting up to 80 degrees during the heat of the day. Did have a crazy winter. Cold days, hot days, rainy days, dry days. It was all over the board, but uh, these uh, will thrive in uh, temperate zones until the frost. You can't have mountain frost, but uh, in the subtropics, tropics, they, they do well. I had a full-grown tree 
we had a real heavy winter two winters ago uh, here in Florida, believe it or not, where we had a hard freeze and uh, I lost some trees. But you never give up, so that's what I do. Keep some going, plant some, some die back, you plant some more, that's all. But uh, looking forward to some avocados in the future, doing a lot of planting, growing, seeding. Uh, I grow plants, I grow crops here all year long. Uh, Florida is a great state to uh, live in if you want to garden, grow fruit trees. Uh, really is a good state to be in because uh, you can grow something year round. But uh, anyway, hope to catch you in the next video. Uh, I've been kind of gray for a while, kind of low profile, not sharing much. But uh, uh, if if I have the chance, I'm going to start putting out more videos. But uh, I've been working on a lot of projects, doing different things. And uh, I think I'm where I need to be. There's a lot going on in the world. And uh, I've been kind of preparing for it. Don't want to get into the details of anything right now, but hope to see you in another video. Take care.